First up on the show, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has dissolved a six-member war cabinet. Netanyahu's far-right coalition partners have been pushing for a new war cabinet after Gantz's resignation earlier this month. The dissolution was anticipated as uh, the far-right National Security Minister Itamar Ben-Gavir and the Finance Minister Bezalel Smotrich had been lobbying to be added to the war cabinet. Netanyahu is now expected to hold consultations about the Gaza war with a small group of ministers including the Defence Minister Joab Gallant and the Strategic Affairs Minister Ron Dermer. The war cabinet was formed after Gantz joined Netanyahu in the National Unity Government at the start of the war in October. Benny Gantz and Eisenkot both left the government last week on what they said was Netanyahu's failure to form a strategy for the Gaza war. And our correspondent Jody Cohen has sent us this report from Israel on the very latest. Right, so according to reports, Prime Minister Netanyahu has disbanded the war cabinet. Now, that's not the security cabinet, and it's certainly not the coalition. The war cabinet was the inner decision-making body who took decisions regarding the war. It had been seen by commentators as somewhat of a way for Netanyahu to bypass the ultra-nationalists in the coalition. Now, what's changed is that Benny Gantz and Gadi Eisenkot left the coalition last week, and with it, they vacated two seats in the war cabinet and the ultra-nationalist party leaders wanted to take those seats. So now rather than seeing that happen, Netanyahu has disbanded it and this is being viewed as a way for him to avoid tension with the Biden administration who wouldn't want to see the ultra-nationalists in the inner decision-making body for the war. Now what happens going forwards regarding how those decisions are taking, we'll have to wait and see. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.